What's up guys, my name is Kelvin Wiley, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to attempt to get bitten by Pyloctinus hematistoma, commonly referred to as the Red Fang Wandering Spider. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, well this video will kind of be like a continuation from last week's video. If you haven't seen my last video, I basically talked about wandering spiders as a whole, uh, but I also featured this particular species in the video and briefly talked about it. This species is Pyloctinus hematostoma, commonly referred to as the red fang wandering spider. And this one is my adult female, and if you saw the last video, I also had a male as well. But in this video, I am just going to be solely featuring the female, and I am going to attempt to have her bite me. So my last video i talked about how this particular species was believed to have potent venom medically significant venom to humans and that has since been debunked this particular spider uh, i know i'm kind of reiterating myself if you watched last week's video but it is within the same family as a medically significant genus of spiders, uh, the genus Phonutria, commonly referred to as Brazilian wandering spiders, which have pretty potent venom. Now, species of Brazilian wandering spiders typically have red color chelicery, which is also seen in this species as well. Now, this is a warning coloration that people should obviously stay away from Brazilian wandering spiders due to the fact that they have medically significant venom. It was because of this that many people believed, and also, I mean, the fact that they're in the same family as Brazilian wandering spiders, but it was also believed that they had medically significant venom due to the fact that they also have brightly color red chelicery. Now, of course, I already stated that this has already been debunked, but I am going to experiment myself and see just how potent the venom of this particular species of spider is. So let me go ahead and get bitten by this spider. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand, colored them in, and then converted them into high quality, long lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description, which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. Now, before I go ahead and attempt to get her to bite me, I just want to say that as far as I know, there is not any video documentation on anyone getting bitten by this particular species of spider. So this may be a first of its kind if I am successful. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that I'm the first to get bitten by a red fang wandering spider. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is, as far as I know, there is not a single video of someone getting bitten by a red fang wandering spider. So if I am the first or if I'm not, it honestly would not make a difference. I truly do not care. I'm more excited about what this venom is going to feel like. So I have with me some tongs. I'm going to try to hold her body in position and have her bite my, let's say my index finger. Let's go with that one. So here we go. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to kind of hold her into place. She'll let me, there we go. All right, and oh. Actually, this is good. If you wanna bite my thumb, it's right there for you. Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> and there you have it. Wow, that was quick. I hope I got that. Like, I hope the camera wasn't blurry. <laughs> and just because of how quick that was, I'm gonna try to do that again. All right, here we go, take two. All right, 
Look at those fangs. <laughs> yeah, she got me again. You can kind of see the the wetness from the venom left on my thumb. Oh, you could. Oh, look at that. She broke the skin. Well, obviously, if she <laughs> injected venom. You can see the two fang marks. Oh, that's from the uh, the first one right there. Hmm. Very interesting. Should I go for a third one just because? I don't know. I'm filling up to it. Let's go for a third bite. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so my thumb, just, you know, just to let you know, it, it I feel a tingling sensation inside. Uh, the venom is traveling through my bloodstream. Um, other than that, it's just mainly, uh, I feel it's starting to become numb, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Yeah. All right. Third time's the charm. Oh, come here. My index this time? There we go. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> you can see the bite mark. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, obviously I know it's going to probably take some some time for the venom to kick in. Maybe I'll, uh, you know, I'll come back in 10 minutes. So let's have a 10 minute break and I'll, I'll come back and tell you what I'm experiencing. All right, well, 10 minutes has gone by and I am currently not really experiencing much other than some numbness, some redness at the tips of my index and my thumb and some slight irritation, but that is about it. <laughs> Um, if I had to rate it, it would honestly be like maybe a 2, 2.5 if I was generous, but it was not at all what I expected, especially coming from the same family as the medically significant genus of spiders, Phonutria, commonly referred to as the Brazilian wandering spiders. Uh, just by the menacing look of this particular species with the bright crimson red chelicery, I expected venom to be much more, you know, painful, <laughs> um, but that is not at all what I received. Instead, it was a mild dose of spider venom that I typically find in most other species of spider. So, you know, this spider, like I stated earlier, was feared for a very long time because many people thought it had potent venom, but as you can see, that has been put to rest. Well, that is going to conclude today's video. This might just be the first documentation of someone getting envenomated by Pyloctinus hematostoma, the red fang wandering spider. And as you saw, this species is not a medically significant species of spider, despite it being within the same family as Phonutria, the Brazilian wandering spiders. So if you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, KelvinWiley.net, and I will see you guys in the next video.